1. The Gasper vs. The Ninja I want you to picture the start line of a 5k race. Look around, what do you see? You see amateurs bouncing up and down, hyperventilating. They are taking huge gulps of air through their mouths, thinking they are oxygenating their blood. They look like fish out of water. Now look at the elite runner in the front row. They are calm. Their mouth is closed. They are breathing rhythmically through their nose. They look like a predator waiting to strike. Here is the uncomfortable truth. The amateurs are not oxygenating themselves. They are actually suffocating their muscles. By breathing through your mouth, you are stripping your body of the one molecule it needs to release oxygen into your legs. Today, we are going to talk about the Bohr effect. I am going to show you why mouth breathing makes you slow and physically changes the shape of your face. And we are going to do a live test right now to see if your respiratory system is broken. Two, the reality check. The Bolt test. Do this now. Before I explain the science, let's see if you are dysfunctional. We are going to do the Bolt score test, body oxygen level test, right now. Stop what you're doing. Sit down, spine straight. Take a normal breath in through the nose and a normal breath out. Pinch your nose with your fingers. Hold it. I am starting the timer. Wait for the first distinct urge to breathe. Not the point where you turn blue. Just the first twitch of your diaphragm or the first thought of I need air and release. The verdict under 15 seconds, disaster. Your CO2 tolerance is zero. You are in a constant state of fight or flight. This is why you gasp for air on easy runs. 15 to 25 seconds, average. You are functional but inefficient. Over 40 seconds, elite. This is where the Kenyans live. If you scored under 20, don't panic. You failed the test, but I am going to teach you how to fix it. Three, the myth. More air equals more oxygen. Let's destroy the biggest myth in running. You think that when you feel out of breath, you need more air. You open your mouth to shovel oxygen into your lungs. This is a biological lie. If I put a pulse oximeter on your finger right now, even while you are gasping, your blood oxygen saturation is probably 98% or 99%. Your blood is already full of oxygen. The problem is not getting oxygen into the blood. The problem is getting oxygen out of the blood and into the muscle. Imagine your red blood cells are delivery trucks. They are loaded with packages, oxygen. They drive to your leg muscles. The muscles are screaming, we need the packages. But the driver refuses to open the door. The truck drives right past the muscle and goes back to the lungs full of packages. Why? Because you threw away the key. Four, the science. The Bohr effect. The key. What is the key? Carbon dioxide, CO2. According to the Bohr effect, the presence of carbon dioxide is what tells hemoglobin to release oxygen. High CO2, nasal breathing, equals the delivery truck doors fling open. Oxygen rushes into your muscles. Low CO2, mouth breathing, equals the delivery truck doors lock tight. Oxygen stays trapped in the blood. When you are a mouth breather, you are hyperventilating. You are exhaling too much CO2. You are blowing away the key. So even though you are panting like a dog, your muscles are starving. You are running with the parking brake on. Five, the straw hack, gym for your lungs. There's another reason why nasal breathing makes you faster. Resistance. Think of it like this. Mouth breathing is like doing bicep curls with a pencil. It's too easy. There is no resistance, so there is no muscle growth. Nasal breathing is like breathing through a straw. The nostrils are smaller than the mouth. This restriction adds load. It forces your diaphragm to work 50% harder to pull the air in. You are literally taking your lungs to the gym. You can run a 5K breathing through your nose. You are simulating high altitude training at sea level. You are strengthening the respiratory muscles so they don't fatigue late in the race. Six, the ugly truth adenoid face. And if running performance isn't enough to convince you, look in the mirror. Chronic mouth breathing doesn't just ruin your race times, it ruins your face. It leads to a condition called adenoid face, long face syndrome, receding chin, weaker jawline, poor posture, forward head, double chin. Look at elite runners, look at sprinters, mouth closed, jaw strong, tongue on the roof of the mouth. Nasal breathing keeps your facial structure intact and attractive. Do it for the personal best, or do it for the jawline. Seven, nitric oxide. 
The nose is a pharmacy. Also, your nose is not just a hole in your face, it is a pharmacy. The paranasal sinuses produce a gas called nitric oxide, NO. When you inhale through the nose, you drag this gas into your lungs. Nitric oxide is a vasodilator. It expands the blood vessels in your lungs, increasing the surface area for oxygen absorption by up to 20%. Mouth breathing bypasses this. You are leaving 20% free energy on the table because you are too lazy to close your lips. Eight, the protocol, the gear system. So, do I want you to run your next marathon with your mouth taped shut? Breathing works in gears. Gear one, the strictly nasal, zone one and two. The rule for all your easy runs, your mouth is closed. If you feel like you are suffocating, slow down. Do not open your mouth to maintain pace. Slow the pace to maintain the breath. This is the ultimate speed limiter. It ensures you are truly in zone two. Gear two, the hybrid. Zone three and four. As intensity rises, tempo run. Switch to inhale nose, exhale mouth. This keeps the nitric oxide benefit of the inhale, but allows you to dump CO2 faster. Gear three, the emergency valve, zone five slash sprints. When you are finishing a 5K, open everything, just survive. But here is the magic. If you train in gear one, your gear three becomes vastly more powerful. Nine, the lifestyle hack, mouth tape. Finally, we need to fix your sleep. You run for one hour, you sleep for eight. If you are a mouth breather while you sleep, you are destroying your recovery, dehydrating yourself, and ruining your dental health. The solution of mouth tape. Buy a roll of Micropore tape. Put a small piece over your lips before you sleep. It sounds crazy. Your partner will think you have been kidnapped, but you will wake up with more energy than you have felt in 10 years. Your Bolt score will skyrocket. 10. The challenge. Six weeks to mastery. Here is my challenge to you. For the next six weeks, I want every single easy run to be 100% nasal. Week one will be miserable. You will have snot running down your face. You will feel slow. Week two will be annoying. By week six, you will be running your old pace with your mouth closed and your heart rate will be 10 beats lower. You are optimizing the engine. 11. The pitch, coaching the invisible. This is what I mean when I say powered by science. Running is not just left foot, right foot. It is biochemistry, it is physiology. Most coaches just give you splits. I give you the tools to optimize the machine. If you failed the bolt test under 20 seconds, if you struggle with heavy legs late in races, if you wanna know exactly how to integrate breath work into a marathon block, you have two options. Option A, the knowledge base. Inside the channel membership, I will be uploading specific guides on respiratory training. Click join to access the library. Option B, the architect. If you want me to analyze your entire physiological profile, from your cadence to your breathing, to your heart rate variability, then apply for one-on-one -on -one coaching. Send me an email at jimkiriak at gmail.com. Stop gasping, start breathing. Your running journey powered by science.